Hello and thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Esther. Welcome to my channel, My Money Matters. My channel is usually to make me accountable with my budget and my hope is to always inspire others to see the benefit of saving and cash stuffing. Today, slightly different video for you, as you can see. I'm going to do my uh, Q&A, which I've promised. So in one of my videos, I can't remember which, I asked if there was any questions that you'd like to ask. So I've managed to accumulate them together and I thought I'd put all your names in a wheel and um, see whose names come out. And that's the order that I'm going to answer the questions. So rather than watching my hands moving on the screen, I thought I'd colour in this image for you. Now, during lockdown, I got into line drawings and um, I've got my book here of my line drawings that I've done. And this is one that I've not coloured in yet. So I'm going to work on this autumnal leaf. Let's see who our first question is from. Stella Budgets, her question was, what is your next big financial goal? Now I'm going to try and colour and talk at the same time, so this is going to be rather interesting. Okay, next big financial goal. Um, three words for you. Uh, eyebrows, bras and theatre, <laughs> but not necessarily in that order. So those are things that I'd like to save up for and budget for. Um, they're all things that, I mean, eyebrows could probably come out of my take care envelope um the theater i really wanted to go and see uh, beauty and the beast but i don't know if i'm going to miss it because it's in a town near us and i don't know if it's going to go by the time i'm going to get around to saving up and going to see it but i would like to go to theater again i did go and see the lion king and i loved that and i want to see another kind of production like that the last thing on that list was bras. I could really do with going to somewhere like M&S and buying some decent bras. Uh, but I want to kind of save up for them because, you know, they cost money and I want to get maybe more than one. And I've just gone and coloured that in the same colour, haven't I? Never mind. Uh, I got distracted. Thank you for that question. OK, the next question is... From Happy Me on a Budget, what's your favourite weather season? Well, funny you should say. Um, I really do like autumn. I love the colours of autumn. I love the changing of the leaves. Um, but saying that, I also like spring. I do like um, the, when things, sort of new life and when things uh, spring up and just you get that f uh, sense of new beginnings with lambs and things like that but I, I love autumn for the colours and the kind of cosiness of autumn um so yeah I think autumn maybe then spring thank you for the question okay let's see who the next questions are from Budget with Kerry says, what is your favourite budget, budgeting tool stroke item? I love that question. Um, favourite budgeting tool stroke item. OK, I think, I mean, it's a little bit predictable, but erasable pens. I know that a lot of people use them and um, I didn't really use them uh, before budgeting. I, I think my boys might have had them years ago for school and things like that. But... I didn't get into them until <laughs> the kind of budgeting community and they are so handy and I really like them for that and when I first got them I wanted to make mistakes just so I could rub them out <laughs> which kind of goes against the the idea I know um, and I really like my Safiano it is quite big and it's bigger than I thought it was going to be but I love the organization of the Safiano and just I think everything that comes with the idea of budgeting and having um, binders and I, I like that kind of whole organisation and the look of of things being that kind of aesthetically pleasing I guess. Lisa Curls says what's the biggest thing you've learnt about yourself from budgeting? 
Uh, <laughs> another good question and quite a, a deep question. I had to think about this. I think I realised how much I spent on others. And I'm not saying that to make myself look good or important or anything like that. But um, I'm surprised how much goes towards gifts. I think also because it's my one of, apart from bills, obviously, it's one of my main outgoings. So my husband pays for other bits and pieces and I will pay for things like gifts. So um, but it's amazing how much when you actually tot it up and do budgeting and things, how much you do end up spending on gifts for people. Um, and I think I used to be a bit of an addictive spender, not terribly, but I think when you start spending, you get in the habit of spending. And so when you start spending, you just kind of almost give yourself permission to keep spending. And so budgeting has really helped me to think about what I'm spending my money on and um, help me to be in more control of of that um the other thing i could say is that i mean i like being organized so it's really nice to have things um organized and use that skill to put that into use but with budgeting so i quite enjoy that bit as well okay let's find out who the next question is from Lorraine Thompson asks, what was your first piggy, piggy memory? Now, again, a nice, a fun question. The trouble is, my piggy memory is not a very, um, oh, what do I say? Not a very nice one. <laughs> not that I don't like pigs. Um, I was brought up in, I was born and brought up in Nigeria. And um, so I won't tell you that picky story, but I will say to you that uh, recently for work, we went on a farm trip and um, I got to see some piglets. And I'm going to say, are cute. I know pigs can be very dangerous and they're not, you know, <laughs> they'll eat anything, etc. But uh, yeah, it was so cute to actually see little piglets. So that was quite fun. So thank you for that question. I hope I didn't avoid it too much. So if you're wondering, these pens um, are from a company that I'm a demo demonstrator for and they're um, alcohol markers. Um, and that's what I'm using to colour in today. Next question is from Catherine Sellers and I've grouped it together with Sadia's finances question. So Catherine asks, what do you like most about cash stuffing? And Sadia's finances says, what do you like about budgeting? And is there anything you would improve? Um, so I'm going to try and answer this question in one go. Um, I like the flexibility of budgeting. The fact that you can change it as you go, that you're not kind of... Um, you're not stuck with having to do it in one way or one system. Uh, it could be very flexible and you can change it up if it's not working. And I think that's why it works so well, because it's quite changeable. So, for example, uh, when I first started my journey, I I used to do... Is this the same colour? <laughs> I've lost track. Uh, I used to do monthly stuffings but now I, I change that over to weekly just so that I can keep tabs of my budget a bit easier um, and, and just roll over and just you know yeah it's easier to see where things go maybe I should put my pens back on this side and then I can see what I've used and what I haven't used okay and um, anything to improve on I sometimes I think do I need so many categories could I get away with not having so many separate categories but I think again that changes as you go along and sometimes you end up with loads sometimes you t end up with little but I think it depends what you're saving for and um, you know again it's very personal and it depends on your circumstance and situation
The next question is from Sarah Wheatley and she asks, what inspired you to start your budgeting journey? I like this question. Well, I like all of the questions. They're all really good questions. What inspired me to start my budgeting story? My budgeting journey, sorry. Um, I guess the way to answer this is how I discovered cash stuffing. I think for years I've wanted to budget but didn't know quite how to go about it. And every time I tried to maybe write down every penny that I spent, it just wasn't working. So I saw an advert actually on an app um, for Hyperjar. And so I went to research Hyperjar on YouTube and it came up with um, a lady that was talking about um, cash stuffing digitally and so yeah I think that started my cash stuffing journey more than my budgeting journey so I hope that answers your question the next question is from budget with Fatima do you think budgeting has helped you change your spending or saving habits simple answer yes <laughs> the very simple answer um yes it has so I'm I spoke about being sort of not addicted to spending, but that spending habit that you can easily get into once you start spending. So it's really helped me with the habit of spending. I feel much more in control of my finances and I feel like I can see where my spending and my money is going. So sometimes you think, what? You know, where's all my money gone? Um, but particularly dealing with cash, you can see exactly where it's going. And I think it's um, it, it makes life a bit more simple to be able to just, um, rather than worrying or wondering where your money's going, you can just keep tabs on it a lot more easily. The next question is from Karen C. Which YouTuber inspired you to start budgeting so I covered this a little bit already when I did my research on hyper um, looking into hyperjar I came across a lady called R simple life budgets uh, life spelled l-y-f-e and um, so she was the one explaining about hyperjar and I looked into her videos and um, she did cash stuffing and when I first started, I, I think you just automatically come across quite a lot of um, American budgeters first. So that's where I, that's what happened. So I started watching a lot of American ones. Now, the trouble is, the lady that I, there's an American lady I did watch. And unfortunately, I've unsubscribed to a lot of um, channels, a lot of the American ones. Only because, I mean, I love the Americans. But because I know I then discovered a lot of UK channels as well. Oh, the Budget Mum was another one that I came across um, with her systems and things. So the Budget Mum was another one. But yes, I then started watching quite a lot of uh, UK folk. And I thought I can't stretch myself watching all these people all the time. And actually, it's quite interesting to see what people are stuffing in the UK and how we do it here and um, just with, with sterling, I guess. The next question comes from Opal Budgets and she asks, what do you like about budgeting? Um, the community, for one. Um, I love seeing or being part of this community. And before I actually joined the bandwagon on YouTube, I could already see what a, a kind community, the budgeting community was and how you spur each other on and help each other out. And it was, um, so I felt free and able to, to join the community because of the way people uh, were and were so friendly and welcoming. And... The other thing is, uh, I like to see where my money's going. It's it's so clear now where my money goes, and I love the the organisation of the system and having things in place to know 
what my money's been spent on and the fact that you can save up for things I love that I love the fact that you can save up for things and spend the money and not feel guilty about it knowing that you've saved specifically for that item The next question comes from Charlotte Sharp. When did you decide to start budgeting? Um, so I've covered this again a little bit, but I'll just explain that for years I've, I've wanted to kind of get into budgeting because I was mindful that my, my money sort of seems to disappear. And when I first started, I used to literally put in money in uh, envelopes and I marked, I marked them, marked them, sorry, um, for, for for the months and I used to put some money aside and I would save it up for the year and then one year I went out and spent it all in January but the trouble is I ended up buying more gifts for other people rather than anything for myself and I didn't like the feeling of it actually I didn't like the feeling of just going out and just spending this chunk of money so um but then I thought right I'm going to save, but then save for the January sales for Christmas. So it was a way to just save and put some money aside. And that was really nice to actually see physical money in envelopes. And once it was put in envelopes, put it away and didn't look at them. So it was quite nice then to do that unstuffing, which I didn't know was the thing. Um, so <laughs> I think it kind of started with that. Um, and then in terms of my... Uh, budgeting now I knew that I wanted to start the beginning of the year rather than in the middle of the month so although I I think I researched it sort of December time it was it was more the new year that I actually got started with with actual envelopes and started thinking about categories and stuffing The next question comes from Budget and Dreams. Now she's in here twice because there's another, she asked two questions. So Budgets and Dreams, what's your favourite sweet? Um, she mentioned that sometimes with, with return customers and with my giveaways that I give um, sweets and the uh, picky sweets. And so she's asking what my favourite sweet is. Now, I think I like chocolate more than sweets, although I do like things like flying saucers. And I, could, I know I'm going to think of a sweet that I really love, but when I'm trying to think of it at the time, I couldn't think of, you know, a sweet that I like. But chocolate, um, I think my go-to chocolate would be um, Cadbury's celebrations with all the little jelly bits and the smarty bits in them I don't know if I can say the word smarty but you know because I have another company uh, but if I was to choose from a box of celebrations it would be Maltesers, Snickers, Bounty would be the ones that would be my first choice uh, other chocolate bars I enjoy are Boost and I do like the occasional white mouse white mice <laughs> more than one mouse <laughs> Rachel Bishop asks, what's your favourite thing about budgeting? Uh, payday? <laughs> I, I had this interesting discussion at work and um, people were saying, oh, we don't look forward to payday because the money just goes straight out and we don't get to see it. It goes straight on rent and bills. I was like, oh, that's such a shame. I love payday because it means that I get to do cash stuffing. Um, I... Uh, I enjoyed in the actual cash stuff bit. I love the flicking through the wallets and actually putting the money into the wallets. But I also love the benefit of of um, cash stuffing, having saved for something specifically and then being able to spend your money because you've saved it. Um, and not, not, I said this before, but not feeling guilty. So recently I've saved up for storage boxes and it felt so good to be able to go to the store with my cash, buy some storage boxes, knowing that that's what I've saved my money for. <laughs> the 
next question comes from Lucy Luxor. What does your family and friends think of cash stuffing? Are any of them starting? So I would say that my husband is very supportive with um, what I do and my YouTube channels and he's happy for me to do it and he knows that I do cash stuffing and I often talk about the benefits of it so it's nice to have him on board he doesn't do it himself but I think he kind of budgets in his own way so that's totally fine uh, my boys have their own challenges so I'm really pleased that I can help them to learn about saving and how it mounts up and actually if you put you know put money aside and save it um that it works and then you, yes you can spend it on what you like uh my youngest son is very good at helping me with my etsy and sometimes will advise me with youtube as well <laughs> so i have inf encouraged friends to get started with it i have i think at least one converted one friend to get going with cash stuffing so i'm pleased about that and i am i i try and talk about it to get more people um into it because i think it really works next question comes from budgets and dreams and iris budgets so budgets and dreams asked how are you finding etsy and iris budget says how are you finding your etsy and seller journey going anything you've learnt i've learnt quite a bit i've learnt it's unpredictable and flexible i've learnt it takes time to do the listing and um just learn, learning how Etsy works. <laughs> like it's not a matter of just sticking things on. You, it takes time to learn how it works. You never know when you're going to get an order or when people are going to favourite your items. So, you know, you've just got to kind of sit back and wait and see sometimes um, what happens with that. Uh, I I do love seeing people actually using my my challenges particularly on youtube it really puts a smile on my face to think that i created that uh, challenge and people are actually using it to help their budgets i just it just makes me so happy um and it's great I'm, i love it when people buy challenges um yeah it excites me knowing that something i've produced people are willing to buy and they want to use um i think also, I just want to touch on things like costs. I know my challenges might cost a bit more than some of the ones that you see on Etsy, but I just want to say I use good quality cards and I've got to take in consideration my time and because um, it's free postage, I need to account for that as well. So just thought I'd throw that one in there for free. Crafting Budgets asks, what has been your best moment during your budgeting journey so far? Oh, best moment during my budgeting journey. So, there's a few things. <laughs> um, I think actually inspiring others to join budgeting. So we talked about other people have, you know, have other people given it a go or your family and friends. So it's really nice to see other people giving it a go and learning about budgeting so that's that's exciting um I want to give away for a, a Etsy voucher that was very exciting and even just starting selling on Etsy as well so that that's been exciting um so yeah lots of best moments I would say and I know I mean numbers aren't everything but the fact that I've just got subscribers and people watching my channel is amazing so I appreciate you and I thank you very much for that So I wonder who the last question is going to be from. <laughs> the lovely Rosemary. Okay, what was the thinking behind the piggy thing? Um, good question. Now, do you know what? I'm not like a majorly um, piggy person. I wasn't necessarily into pigs before I did my channel. But uh, it stemmed from creating my logo and I thought about what I wanted my channel name to be and I thought about my logo and it just seemed really obvious to use a pig to represent a piggy bank and to make the logo to look a bit like a coin and saving and the arrow is the idea of kind of the money recycling it itself. Oh. Uh, 
And a bit like my tagline, save, savvy, spend. Yes, you can save the money and be savvy with it, but also some of it is there to spend as well. So, yeah, all the pig theme stems from my logo. And I just like the idea of having some kind of branding and theme. Uh, so I've got my name, I've got my logo, and then, yeah, the pigs stemmed from there. And I decided pigs were going to be my thing. So, and yeah, they're quite cute, really. And I've I've grown to love them even more <laughs> now that I'm using them on uh, my channel. So I think I've covered all your questions. That was 17 questions altogether. I've eked out my colouring and I've managed to finish my autumn leaf, which I love. Um, it's so nice to see my drawings actually coloured in. And now I've got this gorgeous autumnal look with my pens. Thank you so much. It's, this has been really fun. And I'm sorry if you've missed out and you haven't had a chance to ask a question. But maybe in the future I will do this again and see if there are other questions that you may want to ask me. Um, any questions that I can manage to answer. <laughs> thank you so much for watching along please if you want to give me a thumb up and you can subscribe if you haven't already and obviously if you hit the bell you'll get notifications of my videos I love reading your comments so I'd love to hear your feedback on my Q&A and hopefully I've covered uh, some of your questions and answered it as best I can take care and god bless you I hope you have a fantastic day happy cash stuffing and I'll catch you next time on my money matters